I always knew that when I was developing Dylan's Candy Bar, it wasn't just a candy store. I wanted to create an experience and a lifestyle brand. It started with looking at candy and thinking, God, candy's so beautiful. I love pop art and I love designing and creating mosaics with candy. And I started finding other artists who worked with candy as their medium. And I originally thought, you know, I'm gonna open up an art gallery cafe showing candy artisans pop art work. And then that evolved into, wait, I could actually sell candy too, not just sell the art. A lot of my inspiration came from the movie Willy Wonka. There is no life I know to compare with pure imagination. I watched Willy Wonka probably 60 times. I watched Alice in Wonderland, Wizard of Oz to get ideas. I went to the MoMA and the Whitney and you know went through all my art history books. So, you know, the logo design was key and I knew that all the packaging would have the logo on it. There's these nine colors that since I was a child, I kept drawing with. I'd pick them out of, you know, the crayon box. Red, pink, yellow, blue, purple, green, and turquoise. And so when I was designing my logo, it was definite that I was gonna use the nine colors. And when we were actually paying for the bag, people were like, that's an expensive shopping bag. You sure you have to do nine colors? And I was like, absolutely. What's been happening is a lot of companies have approached us whether to license or to do a collaboration. McLaren strollers, Taviana's, Mattel. People are coming to us to make products with them. Barbie approached us for her 50th birthday and they wanted uh, us to do a collaboration with them. So they made my Barbie. You know, to have a Barbie is kind of cool. And so now, you know, Wizard of Oz, we did a collaboration with them for their 75th birthday. Hello Kitty approached us for her 50th birthday. We're now doing Wonder Woman, which is empowering girls. So I mean, the sky's the limit with candy.